and welcome to Potterfiles number episode six, the grand finale of Potterfiles season one. I'm Jackson, and I'm joined by my handsome co-host Kaya as we explore the depths of uh, what would you call it? Debauchery, fucking stupidity, idiocracy. That is all of it, all of the above. Yeah, it, all of the above. That is to catch a predator, uh, predators. The depths of sliminess. If you've if you've been joining us for six episodes, you probably know what the deal is. We we go back and have a look at uh, to catch a predator, which was a NBC show that premiered what like twenty years ago now. Uh, and there were a bunch of predators caught there by Chris Hansen. You've probably heard of it before. And we go through their chat logs, we read them out loud, we find out just how slimy these individuals are, and we laugh at how stupid they are as well. And it feels good, because there was no actual uh, children victimized directly. So Can you hear me? I disconnected on accident. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I can hear you. Okay. No, it's all okay, good. Okay, okay. I, I, it's fine. I was still doing the intro. Um, all right. You'd think after seven years of podcasting, we'd be a bit better at this, but here we are. What no, do they say? Little mistakes happen. Isn't it like you're an expert at something if you do something for a hundred hours? Or is it a thousand I think hours? It's like, I think it's like 10,000. I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we're, we're not close yet. We'll get there. A few more years, a few more decades maybe of podcasting. <laughs> we must have recorded for like a thousand. Yeah, at, at least a thousand, but not... <laughs> not close to 10,000. And yeah. I don't know if I've got like three more decades worth of podcasting in me. <laughs> we'll see. Three right. more decades? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. Why not? To get to 10,000. But then again, streamers stream like 16 hours a day and look how much they suck at their jobs. They can't even True. not show their dicks. Yeah. Uh, there's some good streamers, though. There's like one or two. Hypothetically, so I've heard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but their, their issue is that they, they, they don't show their dicks. Yeah, there's a perfect middle ground between showing your dicks and not showing your dicks. And I don't think we found the equilibrium yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, this week, this, for this finale, we're looking at the final Predator in the Best Page investigation, which was the very first investigation in To Catch a Predator history. And this one, um, this, this investigation was the one which there were no cops involved, so there were no prosecutions involved. Mm -hmm. Up until this point... This unlucky son of a bitch was the only one prosecuted and convicted out of out of these uh, these individuals in this Beth page. Oh, did they have the cops on scene for this guy? No, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, we'll get into oh, just after the what fact, happened. Okay. Yeah, we'll get into what happened after the fact. But we're gonna start off with the chat log. Uh, well, first we're gonna start off with the uh, perpetrator. His name was Ryan Hogan. Mm -hmm. And we got a picture there. He was a New York firefighter, 24 years old, going by the I am Ryan 4686, which was Damn. pretty boring. Giving firefighter is a bad name. Yeah, yeah. A really the, like, bad one, name. The one demographic that's universally beloved. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, like people, especially New York firefighters, this was right off the heels of fucking 9-11 as well. This was like two <laughs> years after 9-11. Yeah, maybe all the hero worship got to his head. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Um, so <laughs> his picture that he would send, send to the, what do you call them? The, the victims, the, what are they called? What, what? Decoy. Decoy. Yeah. The, that he would send to the decoy, like him in front of American flags and stuff. And he's like firefighter outfit, stuff like yeah, that. It's his professional mugshot or something. He's like a, yeah. in an official office. He, he's using photos that he uses for his job and sending it to people. That's like if, like you were a pedophile today and sent the child your LinkedIn page. That's actually crazy. Just yeah. how dumb these people are. Oh no, it gets worse. Like he uh, fully exposes him exposes himself on webcam, like jerks off on the webcam while he's wearing <laughs> his fucking uh, like firefighter base like t shirt. <laughs> Was he trying to be like a firefighter stripper for a child? <laughs> 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 no, you know how like the each firehouse or whatever has their own like individual badge? Yeah. Uh, logo or whatever he, he like put that prominently on display so he, oh, he's brilliant he's fucking stupid all right so you can be the predator this week uh, i don't think i quite nailed nailed it last week and i think you're better at it plus you have the charisma of a firefighter so i think you should hit that and i'll i'll take on the role of the decoy who is in this case cute actually for you 1990 
I have no idea what the charisma of a firefighter means, but I assume that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this case, not so much, but in general, yes, firefighters are still beloved, I would say. And I think you, I yeah. think you exude that more than I do. Yeah, right. I'm so beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Basically a Care Bear. Okay, oh, by the way, the sliminess is 4.41. Which is which is low. So there is a lot of uh, firefighter worship going on in the sliminess rating as well. I think he, like reading through it, I think he he was up there. I think he should have been higher. Um, four point four doesn't really doesn't really uh, you know speak to him in my opinion. But we'll see. Damn. Maybe there were a lot of firefighters that showed up for him. Yeah, it almost has six thousand votes on this too. Damn, so that's a lot. The, yeah. Okay. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, so he was 24 at the time that this happened, so yeah, he would be like age. 45 now, I think. Yep, yep. Roughly. Age of decoy was 14. Yeah, so this is a 24-year-old who was trying to hit on a 14-year-old child. More than hit on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it, gets pretty, it goes pretty quick in this. Exceeds hitting on and becomes sexting almost immediately. As always. Yep. Uh, um, do you want to give a brief description of him for audio listeners as well? He's a mugshot oh, style. Um, I mean, he looks like a very generic dude, actually. He doesn't look like a pedophile that you would expect. I would, he yeah. just looks like a man in office. He has a crew cut hair and... Yeah, just a Does firefighter. he look a bit older than 24 to you? Yeah, maybe a little. He looks kind of chunky. Yeah, but he, uh, yeah, again, like pretty generic looking... White dude. Like, yeah, he honestly, doesn't look like, like the obvious pedophiles like in some of the other episodes. Let's just say he looks like someone who could easily get a woman his own age, but he just doesn't want to. Yeah, for sure. Like, he's not unattractive <clears throat> by any means. Yeah. All right. Let's start it off. So this was at 7 p.m. Uh, I, I skipped over the, you know, introductions or whatever where they say um, the generic ship, like where they're from, all that. But you can start. Okay. Oh, by the way, his username is Ryan4686. Knowing how dumb yeah, these pretty... people are, that's probably like his phone pin code or something or his bank <laughs> His pin. social security number, the start yeah. of... Yeah, the end of his bank pin. <laughs> <laughs> the last four letters on his fucking credit card. Um, yeah. Okay. He goes, <clears throat> Love your pig. Very attractive. And then we have a little editor's note from the uh, perverted justice crew saying, I used one of the youngest looking pictures I ever have. She could easily pass for 12. So, he, so this is uh, a visibly 12 year old looking girl. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's immediately complimenting the picture, saying she's extremely attractive. Before anybody thinks that's creepy. Also, I think on the show, they say that the photos they do use are photos of the perverted justice crew themselves from like, you know, they just take their own childhood photos and use those, I think. So fully consensual. Uh, I'm like I'm not sure. She says they said that in one episode. I'll do a bit of investigation and get back to you next episode on that. But I, the, the little editor's note there says she could eat. She could easily pass for twelve. No, I know, but I mean, I assume they're just talking about maybe one the, of the co-workers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. All right. Uh, cute Ashley for you replies immediately saying thanks. I'm on the right in pink. Very cute. How old? Fourteen. You. 24, a bit older. I need to settle on a voice. What voice should this guy have? Uh, firefighter. Big, gruff, strong. Uh, 24. Sounds like he's constantly fighting fire. Yeah, a bit older. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> like screaming because of all, <laughs> all... He's got hearing damage from like all the fire trauma. <laughs> shit like that. That's cool. Not exactly sure you're looking for the same thing I am. Uh, and edit- then there's an editor's note says, well, I'm quite sure we aren't looking for the same thing, but fortunately, instead of finding a real child to victimize, you found me, in parentheses. Yeah, there's a bit of a perverted justice hero complex shining through, but I, yeah. you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Ashley goes on to say, lol, well, what are you looking for? Good looking girl to have fun with. What are you looking for? Fun, lol. What kind, though? Hmm, any kind. What kind you thinking, silly? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> like the most, uh, like just the most direct avenue possible. Yeah, he really I want to fuck you in your fuck hole. Yeah, they never bother again to just be even flirty or like butter a girl up. Or subtle, subtle, anything. Yeah, or, anything. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just sex. 
meant since one. time immemorial at least had to you know learn the art of pretending like you're interested game. in her yeah having game <laughs> no not with these guys which is probably why they can't even get women their own age well do you do you think it's like a strategy like they just want to find the easiest target possible to someone that's going to directly uh say yes immediately because otherwise they, they they're wasting their time Oh, it's a matter of efficiency, but it only backfires. I mean, nobody wants to deal with this. Yeah, nobody's the only people that are going to say yes that quickly to sex are police officers and decoys. Yeah, <laughs> so literally. it's not the most efficient strategy. And other perverts. Yeah, true. I, I yeah, I wonder just how how many uh, like of these guys just end up together, just like role playing with each other accidentally. Oh, a lot of them for sure. There's even that meme where like two super greasy fat men are each sitting on their computers and it's like, Ubu, I'm going to punish you so bad, my little Discord kitten. And the other one goes, Ubu, thank yeah. you, daddy, show it to me. But like both are men just LARPing as little girls on the internet. I'm sure Discord is still full of those types of people. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so Ryan continues on. This yeah, is about seven, seven minutes, minutes later. later. Do you like oral? Uh, Yeah, lol. I love it. Love going down on a woman. I never had that. I have just gone down on them. You're missing out then. You need a guy to go down on you. Editor adds, I'm 14, remember? Yeah, just in case you forget, this is a <laughs> child. Lol, yeah. Spit or swallow? Uh, the age-old question. You, it's like the, the zodiacs, the uh, star signs of the pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a spitter or a swallower? Um, lol? I've done both. What do you like? I like to swallow, lol. Very nice. All caps. <laughs> Ever think about anal? Here we go again. Oh my god. God. What is it with it? Yeah, this girl who looks 12, we've been told. Yeah, have you ever had a man fist you? What about getting peed on? You ever let a guy shit in your mouth? Like, no, probably not, dude. Yeah. Porn dude. addiction really must have been a thing even in the early 2000s. Oh, for sure. These guys just wind themselves up and they think all the women are like this. Just like, you know how the guys who are just super duper into hentai think if they so much as lay a finger on a woman, she's going to coom hard and do the ahego face. And then in real yeah. life, it's actually like, I didn't come. What are you doing? Yeah. They're so addicted to porn. God damn. Um, okay, your turn. Lol, I haven't done it. Does it hurt? At first, but then I think you would like it. Editor's note. He, man, this... Bitch is really uh, verbose here with her notes. He thinks a 14-year-old girl, a uh, 14-year-old would like anal sex. Unreal. Uh, I, I usually remove the editor's notes, but I left them in here because I, I thought we'd trial it out and see. Get, get an insider, you know. Get note. inside their heads. See the behind the scenes. I don't mind. Yeah. It's actually kind of funny how we're like reading the exchange between a pedophile and someone catching the pedophile and we're getting mad at the person doing the catching. <laughs> just don't be zany yeah, the, I, ju I just don't really i really don't like zany people yeah or, or the one it's kind of like uh it's kind of like when you when you have an argument with someone and then you like you're really passive in the argument and then afterwards you're in the shower and you think you have cool comebacks that sound really edgy to say it's kind of <laughs> like that yeah, you're lying awake like, it's like you're just oh, damn it i should have yeah. said that i would have totally wish, yeah i wish it. i said that it's kind of <laughs> like that in these little editor notes like you're just talking to yourself <laughs> at this point yeah, and the audience. I mean, I get it. Like they, I get it. They're doing the John Stewart routine of mugging the camera. And just doing a funny yeah. face like, wah, wah. Um, you know, yeah, but we should really put this in perspective. At least I never tried to fuck kids. So Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's, let's focus on the predator here. <laughs> um, I think it's your turn. Wait, I, I just want to hit on that. At f he says, at first it hurts, but then I think you would like it. Like... <sighs> Has he been fucked in the ass? <laughs> is he speaking from like a place of uh, like knowing it firsthand, or is this just a shitty way of trying to convince a kid to take it in the butt? Oh no, she's just trying to convince her, which is already so fucking so silly. Like, even if you found a way to fuck a, ki a kid, that's like she's not gonna be as jaded to like, oh, you know, our bedroom life is dying uh ryan yeah, i think we should try, try spice it up yeah i went on r slash dead bedrooms and they said we need to try anal and explore what we like in the like uh, yeah it'd be the most jaded 13 year old ever like wearing yeah. sunglasses and smoking just lighting a cigarette like going to fuck me in the else. cunt oh you're so boring <laughs> <laughs>
Fuck me in my shithole, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, call your friends. Let's have a gangbang. I'm so tired of this <laughs> vanilla missionary sex. Okay. Um. All right, and then about 35 minutes after, so they, they go on to talk about no, hang on, generic hang on. sex. You game. forgot your last line. After he says, I think you would like it, she just says, lol, okay. <laughs> yeah, lol, K. <okay. laughs> <laughs> you can almost feel like the decoy getting a little frustrated. Um, yeah, they, oh, yeah. They, they always have to get frustrated. It's like they oh, never yeah. put any like effort into the sexting part of it, which I appreciate because it's just like these guys are getting horny at a brick wall, and it's still yeah. enough for them. I would be. It would be. I wouldn't appreciate it though if they kind of like baited them into revealing more about themselves and how the, just the goofy shit. Like, I mean, gone. They, they do. Just like you asked, you know. Well. No, but have you ever done anal? That would have been funny. I want to know if he ever stuck something up his ass. Maybe he would have gotten offended, which is even better. I have seen them do s stuff like that in the past. I think it's a risk, though, because they don't want to upset the dude enough where they, like, leave. Yeah, you're Maybe. right. Also, I guess it wouldn't look good in a court setting when the pedophile could argue that you were sexting them back and you were into yeah. it. Your um, Honor, she tried to ask me if I had ever put anything in my ass, and as we all know under the statute of 16.5, that means consent. I was allowed to continue sexting at that point. It just, it always works better. You're right. I mean, it always just works better when Chris Hansen yeah. says she wasn't even, like, replying to those sexting messages and you kept harassing her, and they have no defense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like well, it said, just makes them look extremely pathetic as well, like, even more pathetic than they usually would. That's true. Okay, so it's 8 p.m. now, almost 40 minutes later. Actually, you're too young. Sorry. And then we have a really long editor's note. She goes, Yes, I wasn't happy with Ryan for the conversation he had with a minor up to this point, but it appeared that he was going to do the right thing. I pushed him a little, but when it appeared that he was really going to leave me alone, I stopped talking to him. So he has that classic predator, you know, uh, moment of conflict, internal conflict, the, the moment where he's like, Oh shit, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm just. And talking about fucking the kid's ass. I got a, I got a skedaddle. <laughs> so cute Ashley replies saying, Why? As tempting as it is, it's wrong. Sorry. He Why? Maybe, you, he, he must have taken those 40 minutes to like jerk off and have to post not clarity. Yeah, it's, oh, shit, it's always it that. It's yeah, as soon as as soon as the fucking balls are empty, all like rational thinking comes back and then you're like, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> Usually not in an, <laughs> in an extreme case as this, but that is absolutely <laughs> what happened. Um, so she continues on to say, why? You're hot. Thanks. So are you, but I'm 10 years older. You. Why would you say so are you in this situation? If you're trying to, like, <laughs> separate. <laughs> this hot 13-year-old. Yeah, yuck. Uh, that's cool. I like older guys, especially when they're hot, lol. I'm sure, but I'm too old for you. It's wrong and illegal. And then editor's note says, you're so right, Ryan. <laughs> and then Ashley says, whatever. It's not like anyone would know. They really are trying to hook this guy, actually. What, what the fuck happened to he was about to do the uh, right thing, but then I left him alone. Um, okay, so she says nobody would know. He goes, I would. Sorry. Yeah, and then and then it ends, um, and she doesn't reply to that. She, she, she the editor goes on to say that she instead messages other people or whatever. She she focuses on other people and just ignores him. But then uh, five minutes later, unprompted, he comes Ryan back returns. crawling. Yep, he comes back with roses in his hands. He didn't he didn't know what he was doing. Yes, he, he after she mistake. ghosted his message and left him more. I, I swear to God, like, pedophiles and these children are like celebrities on Twitter. They just, they leave for like five minutes and then come back crawling. And he says... So he's, his refractory period must have only been like ten minutes long. <laughs> it's, he's, his balls refilled and then the power of pedophilia <laughs> yeah, yeah. overtook him once more. <laughs> Where would we go? And then the editor's note says, damn, he was free and clear as far as we were concerned. And then he has to send me a message like that. And then Ashley replies, I'm here, just bummed. I mean, where would we meet? Here, silly. I have the house to myself until Thursday. Uh, Jesus. And you want to fuck each other's brains out? Okay, so extreme wow. immediately. Like, so that all happened in the span of 60 seconds. He was gone. Then he came back and it's, it's 
and you want to fuck each other's brain out. If if you say yes, then I, I'm I'm all for it. This is like even I, as a man, if someone sent me a message like that, just a cold open email, I would feel like I'm about to get raped. Yeah, he he uh, he's very specific with the, how he describes fucking. It gets kind of comical later on. Uh, well, what's comical actually... is that there is precisely six minutes between it's wrong and illegal. Sorry yep. to want to fuck each other's brains out. I know it's so it's so fucking zany. Like, sure, maybe like sit on it for the night and come back tomorrow and say it. But this is literally literally six minutes after. It shows where his brain's at. It's just constantly firing all, in all different directions. But sadly, the part that controls the fucking each other's brain out one <laughs> in this situation. <laughs> yeah, the lizard brain one. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Cute Ashley says, uh, this is about seven minutes later again. Cute Ashley goes, so when you coming, lol? Well, I have to go and buy condoms, lol. At least he knows classic, that he could knock right, her up. Classic Ryan. Yeah. He, he has safe well, sex with children. Well, let's, let's just hold on to that for a bit. Um, she, uh, the editor's note says, there is nothing funny about it, Ryan. And then Ashley says, that's cool. Haven't worn them in a while. Uh, so, like, what time will you get here, lol? 9.15. And then, and then the editor tests him here a little bit. Cute Ashley says, well, if you pull out... That's cool too. If I don't have to buy them, I can get there sooner. <laughs> so that's all it took to convince him that he, he might not yeah. need condoms. And then the editor says, Oh, heaven forbid that Ryan might be delayed in getting to molest me. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a time limit. He's going to get there quick. It's like a video game. One of those crazy taxi levels. He's going to get there as quick as possible before the timer runs out. This is so fucking stupid. What 13 year old uh, knows about pulling out? Ryan. Well, yeah, the the ones that like get him fucked in the ass and shit like that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, just pull out and blow your lord on my face. Um, <laughs> okay, now it's again twenty minutes later. You look like a tiny girl, Ashley. Yeah, like five four one ten. Don't want to hurt you. Lol. I'm serious. You won't. Lol. I am eight. Uh, shit. He means I am eight inches. So he says he's, oh. he's a he's a big he's a big guy. He's got a big wiener that's capable of some damage. Okay, sorry. He threw in some symbols there that didn't make sense. He technically said he's eight divided inches. Um, <laughs> she, she question marks him and he goes, "Definitely not going to able, definitely not going to be able to make it tonight." Sorry. Why? Have to go to a wake tonight for a city fireman that died the other day. <laughs> well, did he just find out about it? Yeah, what the like fuck? oh shit, sorry, can't come over to molest you. Forgot I had a oh, fucking yeah. funeral. Uh, on. Shit, I forgot Devin just died in those towers that collapsed. Whoops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think he'd approve of me molesting children either. So I, we're just gonna have to wait till tomorrow, I'm afraid. Um, editor says he's upset that he can't come over to come over and molest a little girl because he has to attend a wake for one of his brother firefighters. This is sad and wrong on so many levels. Yeah. All right. That's a man who's got his priorities out of whack. This is, I um, assume, the next day. It's in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. He says, very nice. Out of town till when? Uh, Ashley says Thursday. So they're discussing Her They're parents. discussing when they can finally meet up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Going to school any of those days? Nope. Lol. Cool. Maybe I could stop by in the morning on my way home from work and pound you. <laughs> you fucking turned into the Hulk <laughs> Ryan Pound <laughs> Oh my god like Just, just, just a like, quick you know, Just a quick call. five minute pounding before you go to school <laughs> just, But quickie molestation A molesty yeah. Don't worry I'll be, I'll be real quick Alright so uh, <clears throat> Ryan continues About 30 minutes later I'll come over and we can fuck each other's brains out. Did he just fucking copy and paste his text from last night? I know. <laughs> just keep ready. Uh, Ashley says, wow, cool. <laughs> if, you ever, <laughs> if you ever are sexting someone and they reply, wow, cool, just uninstall and block them. Just skedaddle. That's, that's, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> if you get hit with a wow, cool, <laughs> just stop, stop with sex. And she spells it like, cool. Like how Cartman yeah, says it. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, I'll get up at like eight thirty and be ready for the. <laughs> so she's she's making like a plan. She'll set a time for you, Ryan. She'll be up at eight thirty and she'll be ready for the. Yeah, uh, Ryan. Another red flag. No teenage girl wants to get up at eight fucking thirty, just to get. Not that no one it. does. I no. Oh. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's law enforcement that gets up that early. Okay, great. Gonna let me play with your ass. Ugh. Lol. Yeah. Gonna let me pound it. <laughs> well, don't hurt me, lol. I won't. Lol, I know. Where do you want me to come? I trust you. Not inside me, lol. If not there, then where? Y where will the man come? Ashley, you gotta tell him. I wanted to say, like, come, come in this vase or something. Something completely <laughs> random. Uh, I, I want you to come in this Ziploc bag with law enforcement seal over it. <laughs> Can you come in this test tube? <laughs> I yeah. also need a blood sample. <laughs> you could give me some hair, that'd be great too. Could you push your fingers on this ink pad and then on this paper, please? <laughs> <laughs> and look straight into the camera. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Ashley says, uh, if not there, then where? Ashley then replies, anywhere. Less? Lol? I don't else. know what that means. Anywhere oh, else. Oh, anywhere else, lol. Face. 14, Ryan. She's 14. And he's like straight onto that. I want to come blast your face, bitch. I guess that's like, we've already been talking about ass pounding, so anything is fair yeah. in there. He's going to pound her butt and then pull out and come on your face, just like a porn star. Yeah, that's, she's just a little object. A little piece of meat for Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ashley replies saying, sure, that's cool. I have to go take care of business, if you know what I mean. Have any, have ideas for me to think about while doing it? Uh, so he, what a crea he, he's creatively bankrupt. He needs to source ideas for his jerk obsessions from a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, and he has to announce it to her, too, very proudly. He got way yeah. too turned on by her just passively saying, yeah, you can come on my face. Yeah, and that's cool. <laughs> uh, so dumb Ashley replies saying I don't know what else is there lol you should know a little tell me and then editor says I hate when the wannabes want the child to describe sexual acts so they can get off on it which is yeah, yeah. why the fuck this is not a sex bot she's not a pay by the minute phone sex hooker she doesn't know anything what the fuck you're the one molesting her and grooming her aren't you the one supposed to be doing all the decision making here no right it's ryan wants to lay back and let it all happen to him he wants yeah to really he wants to does he just want to starfish on the fucking bed and like tell me what you would do to me are you gonna peg me it's like no <clears throat> um i don't know i think this is just the the like he wants something more than wow cool like that's yeah but he right. also wants like he's it's getting a... mad that this child doesn't know anything about anal sex or how to like turn a man on um, okay, your turn. Yeah. Well, what else besides oral and sex is there? You talked about anal, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> now he's getting passive-aggressive and, like, frustrated yeah. with her that she's not sexting. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm afraid it would hurt. We don't have to, then. Are you shaved? What a gentleman. Jesus. Yeah. So chivalrous. Yeah, you get, get, rid of the, get rid of the fucking hair on your pussy. I don't want to see a single hair follicle. You yeah, better if be you, shaved. Without if you don't want me pound. to pound your butthole, we don't have to, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> 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 you're lucky. You're lucky you're this kind and generous. But uh, as payment, you got to get rid of all the hair. you got to be shaved. The uh, okay, it's now 10 p.m., same day, I assume. And he messages her saying, ready to get pounded tomorrow morning? God damn, dude. He's got the gr greatest entries ever. <laughs> He's like the Kool-Aid, man. I know. Ashley replies, Hey, lol, yeah. So what time are you going to be here? Around 9.30, remember? What are you up to? Uh, just chatting with my girlfriend. Nothing much, really. Uh, what is she up to? Now, okay, I can. Uh, she, I know these people enough now that I yeah, know exactly what he's doing. Directly thinking. where he's going. Yes. Like more children to victimize. Yes. Is, can she join? Have you guys ever had a threesome? Have you guys scissored like lesbian porn stars? And the answer is always going to be no, but he's still going to ask. Also, he wants to go there in the morning after his night shift, remember? So he's going to be coming to her home after a night of putting out fires all fucking sweaty and disgusting, and he's going to peel off yeah, his fire. And then he gets a hero's. Suits. 
he gets a hero's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As firemen have been promised, child pussy for your service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe that's in the New York firefighters contracts. <laughs> As exchange for it was being a different so time, noble. Kaya. Mm-hmm. It was, was post 9 11. They, they needed to <laughs> reward the firefighters. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I, I'm seeing where this is going. Um, where were you up to? Okay, so she says, she's at home and we're just gossiping about school and our friends, lol. Wouldn't you be, if you were a pedophile in this situation, wouldn't you be worried that this kid is potentially like saying, hey, there's a guy named Ryan and he's trying to fuck me? And he's. Yes, you cannot trust kids with secrets. Can't they them. can't do that. No, it's the dumbest thing. First of all, they should have another secrets. one into it. First of all, the fact that she has a secret yeah, is absolutely. a red flag to parents too. Even when the pedophiles get like cutesy with it and they think they're being clever by teaching the kids like the wrong terms for what they're doing, like uh, don't tell your parents what we did. Okay, if they ask, just say that we painted with crayons today. And the, but yeah, but eventually that kid is gonna say, "Hey, uh, my uncle stuck his crayon in my mouth today, mommy." Like eventually the dam will break, and it will come out. I can't fucking trust kids to keep their traps shut. Um. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> he goes. Uh, okay. Did you tell her that you're talking to a new guy who's going to pound you? Uh, no way, lol. Oh, okay. What's her screen name? I want to look up her profile. Why haven't you told her? Oh, I meant chatting on the phone. Her parents don't let her chat online. <laughs> I wonder why. I mean, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell her to cut school tomorrow and come over. Huh? Why? I'll pound both of you. Lol. <laughs> <sighs> this is what too much lolicon does to your brain. This guy thinks he's going to have a threesome with kids. <laughs> yeah, just bring the entire class over. Yeah. Just everyone cut cl- I'll teach you all. Yeah, just go to your local kindergarten, Ryan. Just wait in the bushes yeah. until the teacher goes to the bathroom. Then you can have a whole harem of toddlers. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. How the fuck do you write... How do you write this? <clears throat> See, this is why I think it should be more than a 4.4. I know, yeah, you're uh, right. Um, Ryan. Okay, yeah, 10 minutes later. Mmm, so many things I want to do to you. Ashley. Yeah? Like what? Why do you even have to ask? You said it like a million times by this point. Yeah, but it's always it always helps to uh yes. Go into more detail about your crime, please. Uh he goes, Yeah, lick your pussy and ass. Let you suck me. Lick my ass? I never had anyone do that before. You'll like it. Okay. It sounds nasty, lol. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough convincing. <laughs> that's all I need. Okay, lol. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Yes. Cool. Oh, and then I'm going to fuck your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> I love the O. Like, it's a fucking... He, he forgot. He forgot. It. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, he, he put that mic drop in there. His mind was on dirty child buttholes. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and, and then three minutes later... Not sure where I want to come, though. Why, why is it such a big deal where you fucking come? <laughs> I don't get it. I just he wants her to Ashley's- talk to him pornographically. Ashley says, yeah, uh, what are you thinking? Hmm, on your face or tits or down your throat or maybe on your ass. Oh, okay. Whatever is fine, <laughs> just as long as it's not in me, lol. Okay, it won't be. Cool, lol. Which one of those would you prefer? Oh, that's nice. He's, he's trying to get, like, he, he, wants to, he wants to do what she wants. He's a gentleman. Mm-hmm. She says, um, I don't know. I've only had guys come on my belly before. Whatever you want to do is okay. What would you like to try? It doesn't matter. I'm just so excited and I don't care, lol. Pick one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know, but the least messy would be on my back or butt, I guess, lol. I have to call my mum right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, maybe I could come on your tits. Yeah, so just disregard what she wanted and said. Instead, <laughs> just pressure. what Ryan wants. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and it's 20 minutes right. later ish. He goes, Mmm, can't wait to fuck you, Ashley. Depends on how busy it is. I think that's about work. Yeah, I can't wait either. I'm so excited. I bet you're nice and tight. Well, yeah, I guess. Mmm, I'll stretch you out a bit. Uh, Classy. Gross. Alright, so then there's a there's a note from the person 
who's compiling all this, who says he's come over to the, the sting operation now. He's been given the time. He's, he heads over. And then they say, now, wouldn't you know it? The whole time we've been at the bust house, we haven't seen a single cop. But now a Nassau County Sheriff's patrol car is parked right next door to the bust house. Ryan sees the cop and thinks it's a setup and calls Harvey, one of the decoys, mm-hmm. and tries to play it off like he has come to his senses. In Harvey's own words, he drives by the... Is it Del Harvey? Mm, I don't know. Okay. Uh, he drives by the house and gets spooked. He calls me while I'm standing outside and hangs up. I call him back. He recants utterly, saying, This is wrong. I can't do this. It's immoral and illegal. I had a momentary lapse of judgment, and this should have never happened. Was that fucking compiled by his lawyer? Did he come prepared with it? <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> Twitter explanation? I asked him why he's doing this to me and what's wrong. He doesn't really answer and says that he has to go. I waited about an hour and instant message him. The fact that he, he still acts says, like he gives a shit that it's immoral. But also, I looked it up. Yeah, it like is, you, you it just is saw still it. Harvey. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, you, you just saw a cop car and then you got freaked out. It's not that you had a momentary lapse of... Well, you yeah. had an extremely long momentary lapse of judgment. Yeah. Like, it's not it's not a moment. You just have a lapse of judgment. Yeah. Um, I wait about an hour and I am him, and then could Ashley, this is this is that. Could Ashley, show me your cam. Ryan's status message changed to view my camera. Okay, and then... Oh, wait, sorry. It's, sorry, there was a bit of, there was a bit more conversation before that, just like... Yeah, I assume um, so. Talking about what happened and, and, and buttering him back up so that he's more comfortable with her. And so he, he does come back. He does start messaging her again and believes her that the, the cop car was unrelated, which it was, but also. Yeah. Like, that also still yeah, really fucking stupid. Him. And this is also after the phone call with Del Harvey, in which they, I assume, yeah. had a back and forth, and he still thinks this is a real child. Um, yeah. Okay, so she says, turn your camera on. He goes, sure, you want to see? Yeah. I'm half naked. Cool, lol. Don't tease. Can you see? Oh, yeah. When the feed started... So this is an explanation from the editor. When the feed started, I saw Ryan naked from the waist down stroking his penis. Later, he leaned in and gave me and the half dozen other people standing around watching a nice clear shot of the emblem for Engine 237 that was (laughs) silk screened on his sweatshirt. Those screen grabs will be available in the (laughs) follow-up. Did you like... Yeah, they they liked they liked Ryan. They really liked it. <laughs> they loved it. Yes. Can you hold up your driver's license for me? Turns me on so much. Makes me so fucking wet. Okay, so that's the final correspondence we have with Ryan. Um, <clears throat> after that, they they do set up a time. Harvey had several conversations with Ryan after it, uh, leading up to him coming to the Sting House. But apparently, on the way there, he got into a car accident. <laughs> it was delayed yeah. longer. Than, he was than probably he speeding. Play. Yeah. <laughs> so called him at five thirty. Folks were there fixing his car. Called him at five forty-five. Folks were still fixing his car. Called him at six. He was heading back over and was supposed to call when he was on my street. He called me at six fifteen and hung up. I called him back and he explained that he got he had gotten into a fender bender and had to wait for the police. I called him at six thirty and left a message telling him that he wouldn't be there by seven to not bother showing up and that we'd reschedule. I called him at six forty-five and left a message telling him that we would reschedule and not to come. The reason Harvey <clears throat> told him that we needed to reschedule was because we had to vacate the bust house that evening. And then yesterday, March 16th, 2004, Ryan was confronted while leaving the station for FDNY Engine Company 237 in Brooklyn. He admitted to coming over to the bust house on Wednesday morning. He also tried to feed those that confronted him a whole list of lies that were, they were e- able to easily refute due to the overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Mm-hmm. We know almost everything there is to know about Ryan. Harvey will be starting Ryan's follow-up thread and it will contain all the pertinent information. Yeah. So that's the chat log. <laughs> Obviously, the people that they're uh, referencing there that showed up on the, sp- uh, at the station to interview Ryan were, in fact, Chris Hansen. And that's where we're going to get into the interview now. So what a Beautiful. It also says that, um, according to the district attorney, he fucking used his fire department laptop at work to talk to this child, which is super smart. Yeah, I was going to get into the arrest and stuff after, but yeah. So, when he was arrested, uh, in a complaint filed in Federal District Court in Brooklyn, prosecutors charged that the firefighter Ryan P. Hogan, 24, had used a fire department computer at his firehouse, Engine Company 237 in Bushwick, Brooklyn, 
for some of his communications. So not only was he using one of their like com- provided computers or whatever to to you know do this, he was doing it on the fucking base. He was at at work, uh, you know, victimizing this child in his little fire his engine. Fucking- this clip is basically just the start of his segment on the Two Catch a Predator episode. So I'm just gonna play it. After spending hours engaged in an obscene chat, sometimes from the firehouse, he makes a plan to come over to have sex with our 14-year-old. But as he drives by the house, he phones. He's having second thoughts and cancels, telling our decoy she's too young. He went back to saying there was immoral and illegal and everything else. But the real reason may have been something else entirely. He goes home, gets back online, and says he saw this. A police car coincidentally parked next door to our house. But even that doesn't stop him. He gets comfortable again, turns on his webcam, exposes himself, and (laughs) masturbates, all while wearing his New York City firefighter sweatshirt. It's obscene. It's obscene. And then, unbelievably, he says he's going to come by the house again. He never makes it. So we go looking for him. Uh, so they actually, in that video, I highly recommend using our resources down below in the description to go watch this little clip. There's a video on YouTube because it shows him jerking off, censored of course, into the webcam with his fucking little sweatshirt. With his legs up. And then, yeah, he almost intentionally leans towards the camera to show his, uh, batch thing with the number on it. Yeah, because it's directly in prominent view. Also, he's like, it's it's so yucky, like the lighting is bad. Well, he's but, also in the middle of his office, I think, in that one. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> well, they might, it, well, it's a fire station. They might have, like, dedicated bunk rooms or something. What a fucking idiot. So the next clip is the uh, when Chris Hansen interviews him. So let's have a listen to that. Hey, Ryan. Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And we're doing a story about uh, adults in chat rooms on the internet. At first, firefighter Ryan says he thought the girl was 19. Then he decides to come clean. The reality is this. You had a conversation with somebody who said they were 14 years old. It was a very explicit sexual conversation. You got in your car and you drove by the house where she said she was home alone with no parents. Right. That's all true, right? Yes. (laughs) But did I stop? No. Did I make the right? Did I, in the end, make the right decision as what not to do? Yes, I did. You said that you had every intent oh. of showing up at this house, except that you saw a marked police car parked next door. I had honestly, I had driven, before I saw the marked police car, I made the decision not to stop. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> so I like... It ends in the fucking cam again. Yeah, there's like a split second camera shot of the webcam i like how he says what does he say like i made the right i ended up making the right decision and not stopping but then he yeah. went home and showed his dick on the webcam and started <laughs> with it. where does the right where does the right decision what was the right decision there ryan i also like how he did not have the instincts that all of his uh, co-pedophiles have in completely denying everything he immediately just goes yeah, no, yes straight up front <laughs> yes i did that but i made the right decision i didn't stop chris i did not pull over God, really, no simply, shame at all. Yeah, seriously. All right, this is the final clip, and it is of kind of like a little um, Chris Hansen uh, explanation or conversation about the the webcam element, like the the, the call that took place afterwards. Ready? After one, three, two, one. But what about his lewd performance on the webcam in front of someone he thought was 14? And then afterwards, you turned on the webcam and transmitted this picture. That was not that was not supposed to be transmitted. Of yourself exposing yourself. That was not transmitted. For the record, I was talking to another person at the time. I did not intend for her to see that. You didn't intend for her to see that? No, sir, I did not. Somebody else was viewing, viewing that at the time. But if you look hmm. at the firefighter's chat log, he asks our decoy first if she sees the picture and then <laughs> if she liked it. Is this appropriate behavior for <laughs> no, New York City firefighter? No, sir, it is not. For any adult to for have any, this kind of any, conversation with somebody adult? who says no. they're a 14-year-old girl home no, alone. Sir, it comes the inspirational what are you doing, speech. Ryan? Um, I made a mistake at the time. I made the judgment call to correct that mistake. Is there anything else you want to say about this? Uh, 
yeah, think, uh, think uh, people got to use their heads. People should know better. Um, I, I made a mistake. The firefighter <laughs> was arrested and charged with using the Internet to attempt to solicit a minor for sex and attempting to transmit obscene matter to a person under the age of 16. Hogan has pled not guilty. So what's funny there to me is that his little like that little speech at the end. He's like, "Oh, people should know better. People should, uh, people should do X or Y or whatever." You're the one that's getting in trouble, right? It's not the other people in this situation. It's you. I also like him pleading not guilty after admitting to it on camera already. Yeah, on camera. Yeah, he's on the really record. For the record, yes, I did it. Not guilty. Yeah, I. <laughs> that's why I'm putting an account of not guilty. All right, so. We've already gone over the arrest. He was arrested and then um, the complaint was filed in the federal district court in Brooklyn. And he was actually also convicted. So in addition to five years probation, which was the punishment that he received, which is extremely lenient in my opinion, but that's what it is. Hogan must continue psychological treatment that he began following his May 2005 plea. Moreover, he must submit to random polygraph examinations and he must participate in a computer internet monitoring program in which he is subject to a random inspection of software maintained on his computer. This, of course, was almost 20 years ago, so who knows if those are still in effect? Probably not. Um, and the only other things that I could find about him after the show is that he he um, he's now married. In 2018, he married someone. Really? Uh, yeah. Huh. So he's he's now a family man. Do you think he she knows? He, she, he's got a conviction. She has to know. Everyone in his family knew. So after the show, this is this is a little note here for, that I found on the article. Face, faced with two felonies, his family sought the help of pro pedophile groups before he decided to plead guilty to the exposure charge in May two thousand and five. Who are the pro pedophile groups? Pro pedophile. What the fuck? Oh, I mean, there's Maybe plenty like of those today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was be. sentenced in uh, he was sentenced in federal court to five years probation and lifetime registration as a sex offender. In 2018, he married a pervert named I'm not going to name them just in case they're not a pervert. I haven't done the research, so I don't know if they are actually some kind of similar I mean, pervert or or whatnot. But she, she uh, has to know. She has to know. He's got a lifetime registration as a sex offender, and. Uh, like, his family obviously knows, so it, I, I don't know how you would be able to keep that from a potential it says, wife. It's, well, the website, it, it's thenot.com, which a lot of couples use it's for, their like, their, page. yeah, to have their, you know, easy invitations and whatever you call it when people send you gifts. It says 2030, 2,470 yeah, years to go. So, th when this site, when this site was up in 2018, it, it actually... Uh, it actually had a date. It might just be a website thing where since the data's uh, come and gone, maybe it's updated to like a random time in the future. Mm, maybe. A room block has been arranged at Danford's for the night of the event. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to know. Eric and Nicole are uh, gluten pine. I, I also stuff. found... So people said that they, they were... Um, when I was reading the forum post about this, uh, I did read that there were pictures on this on this website that's mm. linked of, of the couple together, but it's all been removed and I can't find it now. So, Well, if it's been removed, this, there's got to be a reason. The site has been updated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. There's no way she doesn't know. At the very least, what you have to do is like type in your potential spouse's name plus the cities they've lived in just to make sure they're not a fucking lunatic. Well, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And there's... I don't know, his full name is honored, his history, he, he's got a conviction, he's a lifetime sex offender, so he's got actual ramifications, like he's probably not allowed to live in a school area or whatever, so... Oh yeah, like, you're it's, right. It's gotta come up. He couldn't fucking keep this a secret, even if he wanted. Like, how are you going to explain to your spouse that you're just... Oh, a, uh, that perfect house that you found on Zillow, it's too close to a school. No, I don't want to live there, no Can't reason. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> How does how do you get married in that situation? Like you really have to go through the dating pool to find someone that would accept that. Surely, like first date, like airing all the laundry out. You got to do it on the first date, I assume, because otherwise you're leading them on for a 
very traumatic experience down the line when you finally do tell them. Oh, I mean, so it has to be on the first date, right? You gotta I be bet like, you wouldn't have yeah. issues with leading them on, but also, yeah, maybe he's doing the whole, you know, everybody loves a sinner redeemed. Maybe he's doing the whole, oh, and then I found Jesus and I repented from my ways and I'm yeah. super straight and cool now. Yeah, he's sworn off anal. <laughs> I bet he hasn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> That's crazy. Alrighty. So that was Ryan Hogan, and that's the finale of season one of Potophiles. Um, we'll be back with the next investigation at some point in the future. Uh, that's the next episode of To Catch a Predator. This was all six of these predators were from the Beth Page investigation mm-hmm. um, in New York. The next one is when, you know, police actually get involved. So we get Yay. more questions now. I miss the cops. Fantastic, because then we can yes, yeah, we can watch them get tackled, and we can also uh, watch some of their interviews and stuff like that with police investigators after the fact. The tasing, yes, the yeah. Will be. <clears throat> but other than that, thank you very much for joining us for Potterfiles. We appreciate you guys listening, and hanging out with us, and joking around, and goofing off, um, and having fun at other people's expense. Give us your slime and rating. Expense. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he was definitely 4.4. Uh, more than 4.4. I think so, too. He got snubbed. Yeah, I'd put him at, like, 4.7, 4.8. Yeah. I don't think he was the worst of the people that we've seen so far, but, I mean, he's pretty fucking slimy. Yeah, he got robbed. <laughs> it's like an Oscar <laughs> <laughs> snub. All righty, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time for Pedophiles. Share it around. Share it with some friends uh, who hate pedophiles as well. Share the wealth and the fun. Yep. And we'll we'll see see you next time. time. Bye-bye. Bye.